What up, y'all? <clears throat> it's Blood Chance. I'm back. Um, with another live stream. Um, I know I said I wasn't going to record today, but I wound up finding some, an old track with some backing vocals from our lead vocalist a while back. Um, which I'm currently working on. I'm rebringing that song back. Well, I'm finishing up that song, I should say, as it's been many years. But uh, that's not why I'm here. This is actually, mm, pardon me, this is actually a wake-up call for this generation of people. For this generation of young adults. And this is something I don't understand. And, like, what the point is in doing all this. So, let me get down to talking about it. And that is the smoking, the drinking, and the doing drugs and shit. Like, I just, I don't get it. Like, and what I don't get is... Like, what's the point in doing all of it? Like, I don't get it. And everybody wonders, you know, like, why I end everything else. It's because of the fact I don't do drugs. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't do any of that shit. And why? Because I've watched my relationship with my dad go to shit from drinking. I've watched many of my best friends end up in jail at six feet under dead because of doing drugs and alcohol. And third off, one of my best friends, well, one of my ex-best friends, but also in my band back in high school, just passed away today from fucking drugs, doing meth and fucking heroin combined. He died from an overdosage of that. And I'm sorry that I have a career that I think about. I'm sorry that I to put my family and my career first. But you know what? That's what's wrong with a lot of you young adults today. You guys don't think that all this partying and drinking and doing drugs, getting high. You think all that shit's cool? No, it's not. It really ain't. Because trust me, it might not get you now, but later on down the road, that shit will get you. And you're going to fucking regret every second of it. That shit is going to put you being homeless. You're going to lose your friends, your family, possibly your job. You young adults, man, you think it's all cool to go out and party, but it ain't. It's stupid. Like, and what I don't get is what's the point in drinking, getting drunk, and getting fucking shit-faced wasted? I don't understand it. I really don't. I mean, yeah, it's one thing to go out and have a good time and be responsible about it. That's fine. But to get drunk like that on purpose, like, really, just because everybody else is doing it, you feel you got to do it? No. Like, you know, I've watched my dad suffer from drinking. He has an alcohol addiction along with a drug addiction to weed. And maybe a couple other things. But I've watched some of my closest friends, some of my own family, my blood family die because of drinking drugs and just partying and doing dumb shit. And it's fucking ridiculous, you know? Like, and a lot of people ask why I end up single. It's because I would rather focus on taking care of my family. On taking care of my family. And having a career for myself. Doing what I love to do. Rather than going out, getting shit-faced drunk. And going out, partying. And possibly ending up dead the next morning. And that's what's wrong with a lot of you young adults today. Like, a lot of y'all think it's cool to go out. You know, like, it's, like I said, it's one thing to go out and party and be responsible about it. That's one thing entirely. I respect that. 
but to go out and party just because everybody else is doing it because you know oh you want to be the cool kid so you want to get wasted you want to get you want to get slammed and shit face drunk and you know you want to try to be cooler than this guy than this guy or this girl whatever it's stupid like i said i have nothing against going out and having a good time i have nothing against you know you know drinking and partying responsibly like i have nothing against that but it's when you cross the line of doing it just to do it and to be cool and doing it just to get shit face drunk that i have a problem with because a lot of you young kids nowadays like a lot of y'all don't think that you know drugs and alcohol and partying can affect your life but the reality is it can affect your life in the biggest ways it ruins relationships it drives away your friends it drives away your family and it causes you to lose your job and possibly the career you want to do and 99 percent of the time it costs you your life in the end prime example like i said Another prime example besides my dad is my dad's ex-wife. She died from alcohol. She died in her sleep from alcohol poisoning. Why? Because she constantly drank every day. Like every day, all day long, she would constantly drink and do shit. And that's what led up to her death. And mark my words, that's what's going to lead up to your guys' death too is you guys doing all this drinking, this partying, this doing all these drugs. It's stupid and it's senseless. And ultimately, if it don't end you up dead, it's going to end you up in jail. Because I've got a lot of friends that have ended up behind bars because of smoking weed, getting high, doing drugs, you know, drinking, driving, that shit. It's not needed, and I don't understand the point of it. Like, what I don't get is why, like, if you got a good career going for you, and you have something that you really want to do with your life, why put that to the side and put partying first? Why not put your career first? That's what I don't get. Because all that partying is going to do is going to get you fucked up. It's going to get you fucked up, end you up in jail. And it's going to get you doing worse shit than what you've done before. And if you don't believe me, try me. I know firsthand. As I said, I've watched some of my best friends in the world fall victim to drugs and alcohol abuse and addiction. And 99% of them are either dead, six feet under, buried, or they're in jail, serving time right now. And why? All because they decided to put drugs and drinking before their career. Like, you know, and that's what I don't get. Like, a lot of these... and. I'm not just speaking about that, but it's also kind of, I'm not trying to go on a rant, but I'm trying to give a wake up call to a lot of you young adults who think that it's fun doing all this dumb shit. Like you think it's fun going out, being a gangster, getting drunk, doing drugs and this and that. It ain't cool. All that mess is going to do is end you up dead. I know firsthand because like I said, and I'm going to keep saying it until y'all get it through your fucking heads, is I've witnessed firsthand what that shit does. I've witnessed the gang style life. I've witnessed some of my friends getting shot and killed over drugs because of a drug deal gone bad. 
I've seen people overdose. One of the most recent ones being, you know, not only my ex bandmate from high school, before that, my best friend and and fellow music artist, Coda. So let this be a lesson to all you young cats out there. Y'all need to stay away from the fucking drugs and just do your own thing. Don't fall in the crowd of what's trending. Because look at me, I don't follow trends. Hell, if anything, I fucking make trends. That's what I do. Ask anybody. That's what I do. That's my thing. Like, if you got a good career going for you, like music or something that you really love to do, put that first. Put your career first. And yeah, like I said, if you go out and have a good time, at least be responsible about it. Like, I'm not saying you can't go out and party or anything like that. I'm just saying if you do, be responsible about this shit. Not fucking stupid. Know your limits. Especially when it comes to drinking. Like, it's ridiculous of what y'all do. And for those of you wondering, yes, I am a little bit sad about my ex bandmate passing away. I'm very sad about that. It, it sucks. But in the long run, it was all on him. I want to be sad, yes, and I am a little bit. But I'm not that sad because he betrayed our friendship for drugs. He said fuck you to not only mine and his friendship, but to our band that we had worked so hard on for a long time for drugs. He threw his entire career down the drain for drugs. Just like every other fucking band member within our band. Every other bandmate did the same thing. But what happened to them? They all ended up in jail, and I believe one of them got out not that long ago, but they're no longer doing music because of that. They've fallen into the line of drugs. Granted, our drummer did fall into drugs for a little bit, but he was able to go into rehab, get himself rehabilitated, and actually wound up moving out of state to escape the drug life. And I totally understand that. So am I looking for bandmates to, you know, kick a band back up? Fuck yes, I am. But I will not sit there and have my bandmates doing fucking drugs and drinking and doing dumb shit just to seem cool. Like, I don't get it. And what I don't get, though, out of everything is, like, why do y'all young adults feel like you have to do this or you have to do that? Like, if some dude on the internet drinks bleach as a challenge, you're going to go fall right behind him and fucking do it? Because if you do, you're pretty fucking stupid. Just like the fucking Tide Pods challenge that was going for the longest fucking time. Y'all are fucking dumb for doing that shit. It's dumb and it's retarded. And you know, everybody wonders why I end up single. And it's because I don't follow this fucking bullshit party lifestyle. Like I said, I'm sorry that I put my family and my career first. But that's just how I am. Because I've witnessed firsthand what that shit does. Like I said, I'm sorry I don't drink. I'm sorry I don't do drugs. I'm sorry I don't fucking smoke or get high. Just have a good time. But I have reason. 
I watched family and friends die because of that first fucking hand. How to be honest with you, one of my best friends from high school killed my girlfriend, my very first girlfriend in high school, because he decided to get drunk and do this and that and talk her into driving with him because her car was broke down and stuff. She didn't have a way home. And they were driving home. They got into an accident. She died. He didn't. He got 25 years for it. Plus, his license, I believe, was taken. But my first ever girlfriend from high school is buried six feet under in the ground because of somebody who wanted to drink and drive. He got drunk. They drove home. He ran to a fucking oncoming semi. She died. He didn't. So, yeah, I have a pretty damn good reason as to why I don't do that I don't do. A very good reason. Because, like I said, mark my words. I guarantee fucking to you 100% of the time, all the drinking, the drugs, the alcohol abuse, the weed, the crap, the hash, all that shit. All that dumb shit. All that's going to do is end you up in the grave. Ultimately, that's where you're going to end up is six feet under dead. That's ultimately where you're going to end up. And how do you think your family is going to feel? How do you think your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your friends, best friends that you see like family, how do you think they're going to feel? Knowing that you're gone because you made a bad decision. I guarantee you they're going to fucking hate it. They're going to be destroyed. So next time y'all go out fucking partying or before you go out partying. I want y'all to think about that. Think about what could result from that. It might not happen this time. It might not happen next time. Or the time after that, you can get away with it a million times. But somewhere down the line, it's going to fucking happen. And you're going to regret it. 100%. You are going to fucking regret it. And why? Because you decided to make the stupid choice of doing what all your other friends did instead of being smart and staying away from that shit like I do. So yeah, basically... I'm single because I don't smoke, drink, or do any kind of drugs or anything like that or party. Because I'd rather focus on my family and I would take care of my family and focus on my music career and trying to get with a band where I can actually make something of myself. So, sorry, not sorry. To y'all, to the rest of y'all out would think I'm a loser, go ahead and keep thinking that. But at the end of the day, when I'm making it in music, and y'all are shit-faced drunk where you can barely pick yourselves up off the couch in the morning, I sure as fuck ain't the one that's a loser. It's y'all that are the losers. All y'all that can't even fucking pick yourselves up off the fucking couch to get going for school, work, whatever... When y'all are sitting down on the side of the road, like literally on the side of the road homeless, because of doing drugs and drinking and shit, I ain't going to be the one that's going to be the loser. That's going to be y'all. And that's going to be all your guys' fault. Because you chose to do the dumb thing. You chose to be within the party lifestyle. You chose that lifestyle, and that's where that's going to end you up. It's going to end you up homeless and dead in a fucking body bag at six feet under in a grave. And I know a lot of y'all might not care now, but trust me, later on down the line, you will. Because if it don't kill you, 
if it does not kill you, you will have a lot of medical problems down the road. Trust me, I know firsthand. I watched my older brother die from smoking from 30 years. Back in 2016, I had to slowly watch my older brother die from lung cancer for a year and a half. I watched him die every day slowly. Why? Because he chose to smoke for over 30 years. Now think about that. And y'all want to see where my brother ended up? Let me show you. You see that urn right there? Right there, that urn? Oh, let's see. Right there, that urn. Y'all see this right here? That's where my brother ended up. And why? Because he chose to smoke and do drugs. So where is he at now? In that urn back there. And if y'all don't stop this shit, that's where you're going to end up. Like I said, I'm not trying to be an asshole. I'm giving y'all a fucking reality check. My brother now sits in that urn because he decided to smoke. Because he chose that lifestyle. I'm not saying he was a bad person. Honestly, he was one of the closest people to me. I was very close to my brother. But mark my words. You guys keep this lifestyle up, that like my brother's in, or in a grave is where you guys are going to end up. So mark my words. Wake the fuck up. Stop following these trends. Otherwise, you're just killing yourself and your career and your dreams. So like I said, wake the fuck up. Stop being stupid. And stop following these trends that your friends have got going. Because they're stupid, they're ridiculous, and they're not needed. Think about your family and your career first. And what you want to do. And like I said... You guys can think I'm a loser all you want, but in the end, I'm not the loser. The loser is the one that's doing this shit like you guys are doing. So, sorry, not sorry. Like I said, something for you to think about. Before you go out partying and doing drugs, think about my brother and where he's at. Before you go doing that shit and where you can end up. Peace. Y'all need to wake the fuck up.